Melissa. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are having a fabulous day. I have a fun project for you today. What we are going to do is we are going to actually foil on vinyl to make a foil and vinyl decal. This is going to be super cool. So um, I actually have one of these on the back of my, on the top of my laptop. It's been there for, I don't know, probably a year or so. And I'm going to tell you the trick to making sure that the, that the vinyl or uh, the foil does not rub off on the vinyl. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to literally start from the beginning. Um, this, the design that I am using is a design that I got from the foil quill SVG and font bundle, which I threw the link up top. It's on so fancy right now. Um, you can use these designs as, um, sketch designs with sketch pens. You can use them with a foil quill. You can use them with a glue quill, all kinds of different things. You could put an offset around them and then cut them. You can um, do all types of different things. There's fonts and designs in there. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is prepare our material. So I just have a full sheet of, this is 651 right on my cutting mat. And I am going to place a piece of foil over top. Okay. So let me just cut my foil. I don't know what you can see here. Okay. All right. And I have a bunch of tutorials that I also linked to up top. So you guys can see those as well, because, um, this is a, um, one of those blog, one of those videos that kind of requires like a bunch of steps and some of them are in silhouette studio. Um, and so I wanted you to have those as well. Okay. All right. So I'm just cutting down right now. I'm just cutting down my piece of foil. Um, you need heat reactive foil for this to work, okay? All right, so the trick here, oops, is to place your foil over top of your vinyl and we're gonna tape it down so that it stays. Now, if you have the magnetic mat, the magnetic cutting mat from for the foil quill, that will work. Um, it actually works best with um, design, um, Cameo 1, 2, 3 and all those machines rather than the Cameo 4. However, you can still use it. I just discovered a way that you actually can use that um, mat with the Cameo 4, and I'm gonna do a blog post on that soon. But for today, we're just using the old um, tape the foil down method, okay? And so I'm gonna tape on all four sides to make sure that my foil stays in place and we wanna make sure it's really taut, all right? Okay. Um, now, when I get my design ready in Silhouette Studio, I like to do it on the second half bottom part of my um, work area and that way after I foil and I need to remove the foil I don't have to pull the entire thing the entire mat out of my um, silhouette machine which I don't want to have to do because I'm gonna have to cut okay all right so like I said my design is set in silhouette studio I put an offset around it the offset is going to be the cut line so with a single carriage machine which I also consider a cameo for because you can only use one carriage for your standard tools. The second carriage is only for those um, high pressure tools. We're gonna use the um, um, D adapter, D foil quill adapter, and we're gonna place that in carriage one. I'm using, this is my portable um, uh, power block, and it just allows me to not have to like try to plug in my foil quill, which is nice. I th again, everything I'm talking about, I threw the link up top for you, okay? All right, so this is how we have it. We have a piece of foil taped on top of our piece of vinyl, and I'm just gonna, um, oops. Okay, I'm going to send this in. Now, in Silhouette Studio, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but I am using the cut by line color. And so when this comes up, yeah, you can't see it very well because of the colors that I used. But what we're gonna do is first we are going to foil. So I only have those foil lines set, all right? So watch what happens here. This is going to go right here, okay? All right, so it's gonna foil. After it's done foiling, it's going to spit it back out, but my mat is still gonna be stuck in my Cameo 4, okay? Which is what I want. I don't want my mat coming out of my Cameo 4 because what I all, all I wanna do is take off that sheet of vine, a foil, re remove that completely, and then I want to um, swap the foil quill with the blade so that it then cuts around the edge, which I made with that offset, okay? And that's how we get our foil quill um, vinyl decal. Now, 
if you don't want the foil to rub off of your design, you also want to use a sheet of clear vinyl. And this way you can place it over top the entire thing. You won't be able to see it, but it will allow you to have a decal with foil on it. This is how this is. And the foil will not rub off, okay? So we basically are going to end up cutting a second one of the offsets on the clear and then just place it over the entire thing, all right? So while this is working, let's see if I can get you a better closer shot so you can kind of see what's going on here. If you're wondering like, how do I do all of this? As I said, I have blog posts all in the blog and I linked most of them up top so you can see them, okay? Including the best cut settings for the foil quill with the Cameo 4. Now the foil quill can be used with any of the silhouette machines, okay? The portrait, Cameo 1, 2, 3, 4. It's an awesome little tool. It has it comes in a bunch of different sizes. Um, bold bold tip this is a standard size tip and then a fine tip the, the fine tip I don't love only because it ends up sometimes it ends up cutting the foil itself because there's too much force okay so now go did I pause it oh I must have accidentally hit it so this has like I said this has the this is the very fine tip one there's a bold tip which is just thicker will give you a bolder outline and the standard one is the one that I use most of the time. You do see that it has this light on that's because it requires heat. The heat is what is going is the heat and pressure is what is going to be applying the foil onto the vinyl. So you'll see what happens um, as soon as this is done, this design, I'll pull it up. Now, the great thing, what's really nice is if you have designs that are specifically designed for the foil quill and um, or sketch pen, because they are what you, we call single line designs or drawing designs, they have fonts this way too. We have put them, a whole bunch of them, all into one bundle on So Fonty. It's $10.99 right now for a limited time, and this design is part of that. So I included a link to that as well if you're interested in that. And like I said, you can. these are not really cutting files, although if you put an offset around them, you can technically cut them. All right, so um, now I also have a blog post, which I don't think I linked to, on how to fill um, foil quill or sketch designs. If you don't want the outline and you want it to fill in solid with a foil, you actually have to do that manually or you have to set that up in the software. So I'll add that link when we're done as well. Okay, so what you can see is that the um, design is on there. Now I'm not going to pull the whole mat out. I want to keep this here. What I am going to do is remove this for right now because this is hot. So I'm just going to turn that off because I'm done with that for right now. Okay, and then I'm going to peel off this foil, okay? Now, do you see how it has put the foil right onto the vinyl? It's so cool, right? Okay, so this is why I have my design farther down because if I started it too high, I wouldn't be able to get this out because of the bar, okay? All right, now you can save this if you want and try to reuse a little bit of that area. I'm going to swap this out. This is just my regular cutting blade. And now I'm going to tell it, and I already have it set up this way in Silhouette Studio, that I only want to cut the offset. So you'll see what's going to happen here in a second. Why is it saying balsa wood? That's not what I had selected. I wanted to cut vinyl. Let's cut vinyl, glossy vinyl. Hold on. Okay, and we will send that to cut. Adjusting the blade, and now it's going to cut. It's not cutting on the line. Remember, I made an offset. It's cutting around it, okay? And then, I'm going to throw this back in, and I'm going to tell it to cut. Now let's make sure before I pull this out that it cut, otherwise I'll send it through again. Let's see.
Yeah, okay, that cut fine. Okay, so before I weed that, I'm just gonna peel that off and I'll let this cut at the same time. Again, this is a clear laminate vinyl. I'm using this as a protective sheet. I'm gonna place this over top of that decal that I just cut. We'll do that in a second. So let's have this start cutting while we're weeding out this design that we just did. All right, I'm gonna actually just pull this up here and I will tell that to send. Okay, so I'm basically just cutting that offset line again so I have a match. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut out my decal. Okay, so my decal is on this paper, on this sheet of vinyl. Okay, and now I'll pull this back here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna weed away the excess. See what's happening? Okay. I'm going to put this down for a second. Okay. So I can use my decal just like this. However, eventually the, the foil will rub off if I don't put a protective sheet over it. That's why I cut this again. And I'm hoping it's difficult to see it on here, but let's just hope that this one comes through. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, where's my piece? Okay. It's hard to see this because it's clear, but it cut the, the same thing, the edge, okay? I'm just picking this up. And you could do this with transfer tape if you want. I'm just kind of cheating here. Okay, so I have that. And I'm going to place that directly over top of my design that I just foiled and cut. And there we have it, okay? Oh, I got a little spot in there, that's... Okay, so there you go. And now I have a decal, see? That is going to be protected from rubbing off of there, all right? Okay, so, shoo, you guys! I made it through a Facebook Live. You don't even know my day. You wanna hear about my day? I'm gonna tell you about my day. For 10 weeks, I have been quarantined in this house, not going anywhere with my child who gives me a heart attack nearly every day. And he decides he's going to do a nice safe activity like play Legos. But the Legos are upstairs and my son has a very serious case of FOMO. You know what FOMO is? That's fear of missing out. So because he does not want his sister to get the Lego first, he runs up the steps, slamming his big toe, breaking his big toe, and is now on crutches for the next six to eight weeks. Yeah, so all those activities he does outside that typically give me like a heart attack, like, you know, skateboarding, this crazy cart thing, riding his bike to school. No, he breaks his toe in the middle of quarantine, walking up the steps. And that is where I spent my morning with my mask and his mask. And now, oh, because it's on the growth plate, he has to go to the orthopedic. I said, I swear if you get coronavirus because you broke your toe going upstairs to get a Lego, I don't know what I'm gonna do. He's fine, he's totally fine. The kid does not complain about anything, which is how I knew something was very wrong. He's, he's <laughs> but that has been my morning and this is why I look like this and this is why I was like, I don't even care. I'm going to show you this, okay? All right, send wine. I ran out like nine weeks ago.
Okay? All right, you guys. Have a good one. A better day than me. I'll see you soon.